In this video, we are talking about how we came up with the awesome idea for phone sling. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Justine and my husband, Kyle. Hey. And today we are going to be talking about the idea phase for coming up with your own physical product and turning that into a side hustle. So we're doing that with Phone Sling. If you didn't check out the first video, I will link to that in the description below. But this is the product. I'm gonna be talking about the idea phase, which you were obviously instrumental in setting up. So, so walk I, us through the idea. No problem. So I am very observant of a lot of things around me. That's just part of my nature. Uh, so what I was looking for was things that frustrated people. And sometimes, you know, you can look in the mirror to find what's frustrating. Uh, that's what I did. So I fly a lot for my job. And after long days of being outside, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, and I take the late flight home, I'm exhausted. I don't want to read. I don't want to do email. I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit there and watch a good movie. So I started doing this while I fly on my phone. And I found that after a four-hour flight of holding my phone all awkward and everything, there was a better solution to this. And I also was observing other people doing that. Here's a few pictures of uh, folks that are very, very uncomfortable. So the first one, look at this guy. This guy is completely hunched over. He watched a movie like this for almost the entire flight. And this was a two hour flight. You can't imagine what his neck and back felt like at the end of that. So this next shot, this is great because I got a two for one photo here. The gal that's closer in this picture, she held her phone like this for the entire flight constantly moving it from the left hand to the right hand to both hands down up all that kind of stuff the girl in the pink shirt is she has her phone sitting down in her lap and you can see her neck is all kind of twisted and at a weird angle and after a three-hour flight i'm sure her neck was hurting and she was uncomfortable and all the other above things that you could think of about being in this position for a long time this last photo is great because I've constantly observed people being creative with how they're propping their phones up. This one is one of my more favorite ones because they're using the safety announcement as kind of a holder with the tray table up to balance their phone. Luckily it wasn't a turbulent flight so the phone didn't fall down, but I've seen people do all sorts of things between using a couple of books to using upside down cups and all sorts of things. So I was observing the need. I wasn't just feeling the need within my own life, but I was watching other people having the same exact experience. So I decided, let's come up with a good idea. Let's figure out a solution to this. And I started giving myself the requirements. The I wanted to work with the tray table up and down. I wanted to be able to adjust to any viewing angle. So if someone reclined their seat, it wouldn't be weird and all these other things because I said this is what I would want in a product and then let's go and see if we can design this efficiently. Um, my expectation with all this is that the reality is that I hope this project in product is very successful. We've worked uh, quite a few hours on it so far but what we're gonna have to do at the end might be the most difficult. If the market comes back and tells us nobody wants this or not enough people want this we have to listen to it and we have to put it to the side and start on our next idea. That could be a very tough solution. But like I said, I hope this is very successful. But my minimum expectation is that we're going to learn a lot on this journey. Uh, I don't know what's to come and when you don't know what's to come is when you learn the most. So if you want to start your own product, Look around you. What's something that you don't like that you could see improved that a product isn't already trying to do? Maybe there is a product that is trying to fulfill that frustration or take that frustration away, but you don't think it's very good. Make your own. Start with a sketch pad. Just sit and drink a beer and come up with a good idea. Or sometimes good ideas come to people in the shower. Do something. Like The idea phase is always kind of the fun part of it. And start with what you know. I think for you, because you travel so often and you like to watch movies 
on your phone while you're in the air. It was something you were familiar with, that, that frustration and thinking, how could this experience be better? So start with what you know and what you're passionate about. You may not know that passion right off the bat, but as you start digging into that project, if it's something that is constantly on your mind and you're thinking about it a week from now or six months from now, then you know you're onto something. Exactly. So that's how I came up with the idea of phone sling. I saw my need and other people's needs. I came up with a design and here we are. So now the next video is going to be about all the prototyping we did. We actually went through 13 different prototypes. If you guys want to check out uh, the next video on prototyping, it's insane how many iterations we actually went through and how long it took us to get to the final prototype. Be sure to like and subscribe. I will link to the other video below that we did and make sure you tune in. Thanks.